welcome to the new edition of Discovering the Unique Child. We're going to be hitting on the um, topics that will help us develop our young generation um, that will bring them to speed that we have a generation of leaders, a generation of credible individuals that have got the confidence that can manage their country, manage their homes, manage their community with respect and dignity, with utmost credibility. So we will start today on unleashing their strength. That is chapter four of my book. So we start from the scratch. So um, talking about unleashing their strength, it means we are going to pick the infants from as low as, you know, from that cradle, you know, developing them with time when they are babies, when they grow from zero to three, from three to six, that way we're going to be um, discussing how young parents or parents with young kids will bring them up so that the next generation will be leaders, will be properly nurtured and we tap all their potentials and bring them out shining. So unleashing their strengths, as the chapter four is going to say, is using play and cultivating the imagination. So use play and cultivate the imagination. So most of the times when these kids, especially those that have got the opportunity to be minding um, kids and then the parents as well, it's up to us to use play to cultivate their imagination. So we start from play to cultivate their imagination and it's a beautiful thing. We need to start learning some of these things so that our next generation is going to be leaders. During imaginative play, kids or children are free to release, unleash and exercise their potential and strength. Watch children at play. Just watch them. And you will learn a great deal about what they prefer, how they socialize, and the unique ways they view themselves. Play encourages cognitive enrichment and emotional growth. This also determines their personality. So please, I want to hit on a point here. As parents, before you start picking on the traits of your child. Put them in that observational mode. Allow them to play with either their colleagues or even you take them to a park, let them mix with other kids or let him or her play alone. And for the teachers, when they are out there break time playing that is when you make your lesson plans because you're going to be picking on every individual their preference what they do what they like and how they do their stuff so you'll be picking on so many various pointers that will allow you to know the sort of level that that individual is so I'm talking to both parents and both teachers because the kids spend more time at school than at home. But for parents, please also grab this concept so that you will know the kind of daughter or the kind of son that you have. During play, you will pick on all these things, their behavior, what they prefer, their preferences, how they communicate with other kids or how they even do their staff communication is a key to um, getting what you, you, you they're supposed to get and that is when they cultivate 
it's a cognitive kind of process that when they are on the field of play you pick all these pointers you can make a diary of your kids play so that you'll be able to have that factors in there you'll be able to put down what they prefer their preferences what they talk about how they communicate and if they are in that bullet area or if they allow people to also talk back and if you will know every individual trait that they've got especially when you have this manual and when you are able to make notes of your child or of your um, pupil in class and that is when you know their behavior that is when you pick on the points that will allow you to assess them and evaluate them when it comes to behavior issues so seek out what makes your child unique seek out what makes your child unique so little quirks can be clues to strength sometimes as simple as child's tendency to demand that his or her mother use a certain bag and shoes over another may signal a strength in something as seemingly unrelated as fashion and design because there are some kids that have got their preference when it comes to picking their particular shirts, their particular dress, their particular shoes, their particular skirt, their particular shorts, their particular dress. So you can be able, as a mom, if you are vigilant and observant, you can be able to pick on those little things because you will think that is nothing but when you are using this manual you'll be able to know that okay my child has a preference of green dress or a style over another and that signifies fashion and design so you can actually know that oh my child is into fashion and design at that early age or at that early stage this will help you to sort of nurture to give them that mentoring that they need because you've been able to ascertain they are their strengths at an early age so that you push them through that path that is why some of our colleagues white colleagues and black colleagues those that are very vigilant and observant and are able to pick on those things when their kids are in that early age they are able to grow into good adults they are able to have their 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 you know um they're able to know what they have to do when they grow up at an early stage because their mom or dad was so vigilant and observant was able to pick it up so they developed him or her on that path and it really ended them well so you see so what initially may look like showing off might be an early sign of a child who has a strength for entertaining sometimes the most unusual things signal the areas of deepest strength so things that you wouldn't even imagine or you wouldn't even take your mind on or draw importance to that are the, the, the areas that you have to have that time for because to develop your child because this book is stating that discovering your unique child so if you want to discover the uniqueness of your child or the strength of your child then you need time to assess them you need time to evaluate you need time to observe you need time to be vigilant on whatever they do the little things pick on the little things and that little things will tell you who they are who they really are their identity comedians out there the adults are that are comedians who were able to be picked on by their parents at an early age were able to develop they were able to develop them into that classic comedians they are and they are earning money at the moment but they were able to know their strength at that early age 
So it means that you have to be very extra vigilant when it comes to your child. And it's very important.